What's up guys, Homebrew Zola here going to show you a program that I just used right now to convert a movie to my iPhone. It's called Winix Free AVI to iPhone Converter. Now I know some of you are thinking right now just by hearing the word free is oh it's going to be crappy quality or this program has a virus, don't download it. Trust me, I would never, <laughs> first of all I would never tell you guys to download something that does have a virus. Second of all, I just used it right now for a movie like I just said and the quality is pretty good and the audio is pretty good as well and I'll show you guys that once I have the video converted even though I already have one converted onto my iPhone I'm be using I'm sorry I'm be using a example and so without further ado let's get started alright so where you can get the program is go to Google type in AVI to iPhone there's gonna be a link called Linux free AVI to iPhone converter click on that and then click download it should download pretty quick as the file is not that big. Let's just go through the installation process. Next, accept, next, and then the location where it's going to install next, and then the start menu thing next, and the desktop icon and next, and then install. But I don't need to install because I already have it up and running as you can see. And this is how the program window looks like. So there's an add button, remove button, clear button, share button, and upgrade button. And there are a couple options on the bottom right here, like profile, artist name, audio quality, volume, video resolution, video frame rate, and video quality. For you guys who are using an iPhone or an iTouch or any other device that has widescreen capability or you're going to watch in landscape mode, you're going to want the 725 406 widescreen MP4 excellent quality. That's the best quality you can get out of this program. And artist name, just leave it as it is or even leave it blank if you want. Unless it's your video that you're the one that made a video and it's nobody else's, then you can put your YouTube name or your real name or whatever. And let's say, let's say if it was my video, if it was my video, I'd call it Homebrew to All. But it's not my video; it's a video that um, you, you guys will see. It's a pretty funny video. Audio quality, leave it as it is. It's already at a good option. Volume, leave it as it is. Video resolution will automatically be on the highest resolution to go. You can't go higher, nor can you make a custom resolution. And the video frame rate is the one you're going to want to change. Change it to 29.97. As by default, it's on 23.97, which you don't want because it's probably going to make the video laggy. Video quality, just leave it as it is. And now you're ready to convert your AVI file. So now that we're ready to convert our AVI video file to MP4, click Add. And find wherever you store you store your videos or movies I just stored it on the desktop to make everything easier and click on it and as for some of you guys you're probably already gonna recognize this video if not I'll put a link in the description and I was gonna do that anyways cuz this isn't my video and I want to give props to this guy whoever both the guy who's dancing and the guy who actually uploaded this to YouTube this is a pretty freaking funny video like I said I'll leave the link to the description so you're gonna get a couple of new options start time end time and output folder output folder just put it where you save your videos at for me I'm just gonna put desktop just to make everything easier and you can also adjust the timing the start time which is this one and the end time which is this one you can trim it which I'm not going to because I don't need to and you can also take a picture of the video <laughs> I'm sorry that's pretty funny you can also take a picture of the video and once you have everything ready to go click start and it should go pretty quick. And it's done. So a pop up saying process finished. You can transfer files to your Apple device. Click OK. And you can close out of the program. And your MP4 video file will be in a folder called iPhone in capitalized letters. Letters. <laughs> Sorry. And inside would be your MP4 video file. And it's just going to be a random name. So change it to whatever you want. So for this one, it's called, let me get the title from this one. I can't even say the title, so I won't even say the title. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that, like how it was called in the AVI file. And then we're ready to move it to iTunes and then move it to our iPhone or whatever other device. Alright, so just drag your video to the movie section of iTunes. And then move the video to your device. Now it's done, so now I'm going to go show you guys the video quality and the sound quality of the video. Oh, and I forgot to mention, go to Get Info and Info, and well, for me, I already deleted it, but when you go here to the name, it's going to have that random number that it had when you converted the video. It's going to have that random number on the name, just delete it, 
and you can also delete the artist name which is going to be unknown but you can also just delete that as well and just click OK and if you already transferred the video once before taking off the numbers you can just drag it again and it'll just for me I already did it but right here I'll just say updating and then whatever your video file name is and then it should just be ready to go so yeah that's what I wanted to tell so you. I'm gonna show you the video quality and the sound quality of this video that I just transferred and I know I'm using a camera so it's not gonna be 100% accurate but again trust me guys the quality is really good as you can even see you can even see yourself even on the camera that the quality looks really good it doesn't even look that blurry at all I can't even see any blurriness and as for the sound quality well you're gonna find out right now Alright, I'm just gonna stop it there because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. You guys really have to watch this video, it's pretty funny. Especially like about halfway right there or somewhere around that area in the 50 seconds area. Anyways, as you guys can hear and see, the video is in really good quality, really good shape. The program is really good. I like it. I hope you guys liked it. And I think that's pretty much it. So, I'm also, also another thing before I end this video, I'm going to be taking pictures of the video. And I'm gonna be using well, I'm gonna be using the lock and home button. Which if you push those two together, it takes a photo. Like I'll show you, like that. So I'm gonna upload some of those. Oh, it got blurry. Well, anyways, I'm gonna upload those photos I take of the video up to the video I'm just ed I'm editing right now as we speak. And you can you guys can see for yourself the video quality of this video. And that's pretty much it. So hope this was helpful to you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. Now, to clear something out, I should move this over here. To clear something out, for me, <clears throat> I think some of my subscribers know I have a quad core, 4 gigabyte DDR. Oh, you really have to bark? Really? Alright, so you're going to want to move your MP4 video file to movies on the iTunes. And then you should add it pretty quickly. And then what the f just happened?